Hello and welcome back to the Cruel King and the Great Hero. We finished all the side quests this? for now, so that Hello. means it's time for Blue progress. Hello, Luchel. Oh. It's like another fine day today. Perhaps it's a good day to try out some of the medicinal herbs. Ah, that's what these are for. Medicinal that's herbs. That's why you look uh, a little spacey. Step on them. Hello. Hunter. <laughs> the honeybees and honey bears are fighting, so be careful when you're heading that way. If you're heading that way. Uh, oh, uh, that is a. Uh, that is big. That is. That's a big spike in there, too. I think that is a stamen or a pistol. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. It's one or the other. Hours. Yep. Into the cave. Wee. Yeah, oh, hello there. Funny. Oh. Honey crystal woods up ahead. The honey attracts bugs, and the monsters that live there eat the bugs. Among them are honey pots, which are a bit strange. If one comes across something that's been hurt, friend or foe, it'll give honey all the same. Then the recipient will be healed, but they'll be all sticky for a while. Be careful, as you'll be vulnerable. Everyone loves the honey from the honey crystal woods. Interesting. Okay. So there are honey pots, and if you're hurt, then they will just smear you with honey. Oh, yep. new mouse. Oh, no. It's a mouse. Strong, Strong mouse. Strong mouse. Ooh. Probably wants to eat seeds like the other one. Oh, we've already seen rock crab. Ooh, that nearly killed it. Great. Let's see. I'm hungry. I want yummy seeds. Squeak. Yep. You gonna give him a seed and let him go? I have an endurance seed. See, that's the thing I'm wondering. Are you sure it's a one-time thing and not a permanent increase? Because we've been getting these very sparingly. I guess we can find out. I'll look it up. What's it called? The Brave Hero and the Cruel King? Yeah, the Cruel King and the, br and the Brave Hero. I cannot use it from the item menu, so yeah, it's a during com mid combat thing only. So it is not permanent. Oh, that is an interesting little slug up there. Go like mushroom slug with teeth. Nifty. Oh. Oh. The forest is smothered in nectar. Use a strength seed or endurance on them. Yeah, okay. See, the force of smothered in the nectar is so sweet it would pucker the lips of anyone who tasted it. The sweet smell of the strange flowers made all the monsters here jovial and full of mirth. The eccentric place was the honey crystal woods. Jesus. Well, you're really good at juggling, Cybat. You and Cybat chatted idly as they strolled through the woods. <laughs> yes, of course, my knife wielding skills are the best of the best. I even had them engraved with my face as trademark of my skill, often performed for the Dragon King in his court. It brings me great joy that so many influential monsters find my performances so enjoyable, with a swish cyber and mimes throwing a knife. Your knives have your face on them? Awesome! I should put my face on my sword too! You stared at her sword. Wait, I've only seen you throw in rocks. I've never seen you throw any knives. Ah, you see, I've lost them a while ago. And I'd like to search for them, but Sabbath's eyes dart nervously about as he frantically attempts to change the subject. Okay, so it is a guy. Anyway, Miss Yu, the Honey Bear Tribe's village is nearby. Uh, why don't we head over and see what all the commotion's about? Alright, let's go! At Sabbath's suggestion, he decided to make way to the village of the Honey Bears. I am so hungry right now. I guarantee you those knives are in a, a man, a human. Maybe. They're either in a person or the dragon stole them, uh, took them away from him. Now ah, we're here. So what's over this way? Unless this is the way forward. It's closer. Let's go this way. Ah, let's go. The gate to the honey village is locked. Ah. Head towards the honey bears village first. Okay. Man, walking around here must be like being in fucking Willy Wonka's candy room. Oh, you just lick you're anything. new. But everything here is super sweet, Jerry. Remember that. Whoopee, let's play. Don't ignore me, please. 
Okay, so every monster type has the same general kind of thing. The frogs don't like to be ignored, the mice like to eat, the raccoons don't like fire, you know. Let's see. Or I guess the, the beasts don't like fire. Miss. I think I have to do this like three times. Sticky and slow and vulnerable. Ah, so no. being sticky slows you down. No? Alright, just die. Ah, oh, I thought you were gonna do it one more. Alright, fine. It's doing the ugh, like it's working. It probably just takes longer because it's a stronger enemy now. Oh, you yeah, go. you're right. See? Bye, little honey toad. Be free. Now listen to the sound of my voice. Check out my new weapon. Weapon of choice. Ooh, bee. Couple bees. <laughs> hmm? Strike with a force of a thousand powers. Blam. Blam. Thank you and Kerblam. Oh, wrong one. There you go. There you go. And you spec. And you leveled up. Leveled hey, up. nice. Hell yeah. Look at his health. Hey, nice. I like the music here. Yeah. It's got a nice little drum beat to it, almost like a desert. And... Honey raccoon! Nope. nope, it's a honey toad. Die. Can't wait to meet the honey bears and the honey bees. This is making me hungry. I was already hungry. Even the rocks look delicious. Oh, a treasure chest. I guarantee you they're just slathered in it. They're not actually made of honey. Maybe. Although they are perfectly square. The honey hardens so much it looks like a wall. We'll have to eat our way through. Okay. So we have to go back. How many times I have to teach you this lesson, Toad? Mano! Ah, fuck it. Come, sarn it. Come, sarn it. I'm sick of you already. Die! Great horn Ah, fuck it. Get the gun, Mercy! Honey fountains. Look at it drip and ooze and stretch and glob. Let's see. Uh, it's probably down like one or two more. Out of my way. It's a honey toad. Oh, no, it's a be oh, oh, it's the honey pot. It's the honey pot they were talking about. All right, defend. Friend or foe, they'll just ah, fuck it. Oh, wait, you. I'm always giving, but nobody gives to me. So heal to them. I'm gonna give them a power fruit and have you block. And that's we're supposed to give honey. Um, well, we could just fight it and come back later. Yeah, we'll deal with it later.
Yeah. Nothing. Scrapbook. Honey Toad. Its plants produce a very sweet nectar that attracts both monsters and humans. To protect themselves, they secrete a bitter deterrent, but many go through the trouble to harvest it regardless. <laughs> honey Pod. Collects honey in jar like body. Honey gushes from underneath it, making it prime target for monsters. The longer the honey stays within it, the better it tastes. Not used to kindness. Hmm. So maybe we need to actually. I don't know, we tried giving it but. Maybe we need to. Like, hurt it, then heal it? Maybe? I don't know. Because, I mean, how else do you give it an item? No, mystery. Oh, hello, you fools. No. Uh, nah. Didn't both. And they're dead. One. Yup. Here comes the jump kick. <laughs> What is oh, it's this. Excuse me. Bleh. Oh, something's on the ground. A stone sword. Oh! A heavy but powerful sword made of stone. Great for training. Oh, it increased my defense too. That puppy on. Hmm. All right, strong mouse. A slightly stronger species of mouse. They navigate the darkness via sound and can circle on suspecting person, causing them to panic and drop food, which they happily scavenge. Hmm. So they might steal from you if we run, or they might just have like a steal attack. Yeah, that too. Hard to say. Hard to say. Mm. Who can say? Oh, no way. I can't. Oh, your sword changed! Yeah, it's a stone sword, Jerry. And it looks oh, like I an just... executioner's sword. Uh... <laughs> I didn't realize that the game would actually change your weapon to make it look like that. That's great. Well, Jerry, we had a stick to start, and then it broke, and then we had a broken stick. Yeah. Then we I'm got the wooden it's... sword, and it became a wooden sword. A lot of times RPGs will just go the the semi lazy route and just be like, yeah, whatever, it's the same thing, whatever. It's it's all just just imagine it, you know. Mhm. Mm like with the pot, I hadn't really been paying too close attention. So when we got the new pot, it was just like, yeah, whatever, it's still a pot. But now with this sword, it's a much more visible difference, and it's cool, and I like it. And they're both dead. I'm in, uh... Oh, my sweet kitty. Yeah, let's go up. Love you so much. What's in here? Ah, chest. The chest of goodies. And uh, another one. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks to Cybat, treasure fell down. Stardust. Stardust. Ooh. Ooh. Inflicts damage to all enemies or allies. Okay, so that's if you're like in a real pinch and you need to get rid of shit. You've hit everyone. Smack. Yes. Fool. Little, little smeggity smeck. Smeck, smeck, smeck. There's moss growing on your sword. Yeah, it's to help cushion it. <laughs> you don't want to cushion your blows. It's for my hand, for to rest on. Oh, okay, well why didn't you say so? I tried. Okay, try having 
Cybat throw a rock at Honeybee and then let's try healing you. Okay. Unless, maybe you need to go to them when you're sticky and sticky them back. Maybe. Sure. Let's try that and then you attack Honey Toad. No. Okay, so we're still missing something. Yeah. Well, die. How could it be? How dare you not cooperate? Maybe it really is the sticky. We have to get that on them. Oh, hello there. Traveling oh. sheep. Ugh, ow. I barely got out of that in one piece. Oh, one piece him! <laughs> ant gobblers. Hey, watch out for barbaric ant gobblers. They'll start licking anyone covered in honey like there's no tomorrow. It'll hurt you and tire you out. Take from me, nothing good comes out of it. Oh boy, I sure hope we don't run into barbaric ant gobblers right now. That was pretty close. Close, but wasn't perfect. These two. I'll figure out what to do with you guys Kale later. Win. Ah. Miss. Mm. Oh. Sticky Sloan Vorm. Try attacking while you have the sticky on. And then you need to heal yourself. Honey gift. Honey gift. What? Wait. Well, so we didn't need to waste the uh, the fruit after all. Ha! Huh. Oh, shop. Hey, bud. Iron pot. Ooh, yeah. Death. Death cap. cap. Oh. Yeah. Go back up to ten. Yeah, I think you're good. Alright, slap on that new iron pot. Let's see what the difference is now. A very heavy and sturdy pot. Fifty-four. That is a pretty good increase. Pot oh, doesn't change, though. Same. <clears throat> oh, well, that's oh yeah, where's the, uh, it's just head ahead. Okay. I was kind of hoping we'd come across a, uh, fountain. Yeah. Wee! Fountain's probably at the very end. Oh. Oh my god, that's adorable. The honeybees honey claim we... <laughs> the honeybees claim we honey bears broke into the storehouse. Good grief, they're as rude as can be. Anything else? Ah, same thing. Hello there. Here, feel free to eat as much as you want. We have plenty of delicious honey to spare. And we are in Winnie the Pooh's dream right now. Oh, absolutely. This is absolute heaven. They told me not to leave the village because the honeybees are mad at us. But it's so boring around here. I bet you Rocky's out there. You have business with the chief? Okay, I'll call him. <laughs> the honey bear chief started out barking the honey bee tribe. I will hear nothing of such miscreants. He is furious. It seems doubtful he would be willing to listen to you and Cybat. Regardless, Cybat in Akasha's attempt to calm the irate honey bear chief urges the chief to explain what happened. I just love the dopey look they have, just like, uh They got them senshi eyes. They got like, mind empty, only honey. <laughs> Where to start? Where start? We in the honeybee tribe have always coexisted in peace until now. They collect the nectar from the forest to produce honey, We, but the monsters desire it, crave it. So they attack them for it? 
Indeed, because of it, we offered to safeguard the honeybee tribe, and in turn, they promised to share with us the honey they produced. Shush. You nod along agreeingly, but something happened between your tribes. The chieftain began to explain the cause for their conflict. That's what the bees look like? Huh. Yeah, it's a bit more... It's still cute, but more furious than I expected. The honeybee village. There was a honey storehouse that the honeybees oversaw. Recently, the storehouse was found ransacked for some reason. The honeybee tribe blamed the honey bear tribe and then severed all ties with them, including their honey arrangement. But the honey bear tribe was not guilty. The honey bears were livid, having been falsely accused in retaliation. They refused to provide their protection any longer. That was the honey bear's chief's explanation for their dispute. I see, murmured you in deep, deep in thought. Honey is just as important to the honeybees as it is to you. Then it's no wonder they were upset over their storehouse being destroyed. Saibat, arms folded, nodded along. Hmm, I wonder why they thought the honey bear tribe was to blame. There, well, Saibat flinched as his shoulders trembled. Ah. Uh... There must be a big misunderstanding if the honey bear said he didn't do anything. Yes, of course. So I tried to play off his response. It was him. He caused it. Yeah, this is. We're all gonna him. find his daggers there, or something like that. Yeah, he probably threw his daggers, and then they got stuck in there, and he can't go get them alone. Because they would immediately blame him, and then he does not want to deal with angry bees. Yep. I mean, let's see. I don't know. Let's go see what the honeybees have to say. We might learn something useful. Yes, it's a wonderful idea, but we should definitely visit them. You're acting kind of funny, Cybert. Oh, it's nothing. Okay. <laughs> nah, don't worry about it. Yeah, the two of you are headed to the honeybee village. Bring this with you. Chief hands you a box emanating a deliciously sweet aroma. It smells so good. What's inside? They are scents made from the honey. Its soothing effect can calm one's mind. It will be of use on any angry honeybees you may encounter. You accepted the box from the chief, and made your way to the honeybee village. Hooray! Alright, and we're out of time, so we'll continue this in the next one. Adios. See you later.